The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial trading down 129. NASDAQ is up 107. S&P's up 9.5. Gold, gold contract down $3.90, trading at 2,039 an ounce. We had silver down 21 cents, $25.68 an ounce. Light sweet crew down a buck 13. $72.59 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note, up 23 ticks, trading 115.29. The 30 year up a full point at 130.22. And King Dollar, King Dollar down 124 ticks, trading 101.480. The Euro is at 109, the Yen's at 134, and the British Pound's at 126 to 1 US dollar. Get over and take a look at the S&P, folks. Bottom line, you get a you know, sideways move out here today inside the S&P. Uh, if you're trading it intraday, it was a you know dynamite day because what, what you do have, you had wide price spread out here. Um, in a monster way, <laughs> you know, we went down from 41.73 to 41.12, like in a heartbeat. Uh, bottom line, you're back up to 41.42. So the volatility is there in spades. Now, the NDX is tricky because the NDX, folks, is actually going over highs with volume. So you have divergence here. I mean, this is a, this is that volume pickup in the in the queues is big. You know, we're already at 48 million. Yeah, bottom line, you're going after. 53, 51, you're gonna do that in a heartbeat. So that's saying this one's higher price. So we're back to that level that we do have divergence in the NDX 100 wants higher price. And it's still trading with the dollar. If you take a look at the dollar, you're gonna see all day long here, lower dollar, bottom line, market gets breath. Higher dollar, it basically takes it away. You know, we get down to a price point today of 101.215, and that's when the market went south, okay, from highs to lows. Bottom line, you get a counter trend bounce, and market basically goes back higher. I mean, it goes, uh, yeah. See, if you take a look at this, now, looking at this dollar, it's been here a long period of time, but what is happening is that this is subtle, but you're getting higher lows. So I suspect that the dollar still wants to get up to this 106 mark. And if that's what we're getting, you're gonna, that's going to have a hard time for the market because the market cannot stand a higher dollar. As the dollar goes higher, when we opened it this morning, the dollar was at its lowest. That's when the S&P was up 30 points. As the dollar started climbing up, S&P went negative. As the dollar started giving it up, it goes positive.